Hey, let's go for this. So we can often see that. Ah, that so we're going to read Operation versus, not really versus, there's not a comparison really. The right operation. Which one of these two also is a fetch execute? The read operation, when it gets an extra instruction or an extra step uh, attached to it. Okay, now uh, we'll try to use the clean version of our steps and remember the steps names. Just a shame he's off the because he was running it. Yeah, okay, so step one in both of them is who sets them up though, Caleb? Who's in control? So, I know this is the memory address we're dealing with, but who, who's in charge of this operation? Who's the boss? Yeah? So the control unit sets up the MAR. Alright, let's define these. What's the CU again? Control unit, the MAR. Memory address register. Memory address register. Awesome. Now what does it set up the memory address register with? So the address bus is really connected to that, but it sets it up specifically with main memory. Connected to main memory. The address, exactly. The address in memory that we're going to access. All right, what's special about the address bus? It's unidirectional. Good answer, it's unidirectional. Excellent. So after we've got uh, the address to access, that's where they're different, because the first step in the right operation again is the CU sets up the M A R. Okay, and again, should we be a bit more specific of this in the control unit sets up the memory address register. So this is where they're different. Remember, read is trying to bring something back in, so there needs to be an empty space for it to put it. Alright, so there's nothing in the other register yet. Yeah, Awesome, right? We're ready to get the information there. So we activate the read line. So this is where they can ask us a lot more in the exam as well. What's some of the other lines on a control bus, you know? Apart from write. Reset. Read, write, reset. Clock. 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 Interrupt. Non-maskable. Non-maskable interrupt, which opens up the next question. What's the difference between the two of those? Between <laughs> the non and the non maskable well, interrupt. I interrupt. I can be interrupting non maskable. Well, an interrupt just comes up with a minor. What's the word we're looking for? A minor error. A non -maskable. Better word? What? What's the difference? I'm doing it to him right now because he's talking and I'm just like that. I can ignore an interrupt. Yeah, uh, non maskable interrupt can't be ignored. Great. I was going to tell you the answer, but thanks for ignoring Well, me. I used you to demonstrate uh, the answer. You just got used to oh, oh, yeah. helping. Let's see if you. I'm going to get two cameras oh, and just geez. video you idiots. See them? So, what are you doing? I can't be bothered editing it. I mean, it's seamless. Anyway, Dolly Magazine, something like that. That's what it says. I still use the clean version. Anyway, uh, activate the read line. What happens next? You copy the data onto the MAR. Yeah. Mm, close. Data's copied onto what? The MAR. Nah. Not the address box. You're the man that just told us the address bus was unidirectional. How does it go back there? It's like running up a slide. I'm not allowed to do that. Can you rub that out of the way? Let's do it again. This is when I got weird. What? It's weird, it's correct. You're the one that's telling us the answers. He's discussing it with us. He's just shouting out things until he gets a notebook. Well, if he writes everything he knows in the exam, he's bound to get some marks. Okay, so data is copied from main memory, it's released onto the data bus. How does it end up, and where does it end up? It's transferred along the data. It's transferred along the memory. Where does it transfer to, buddy? Memory data. Yeah, transferred into the memory data register. Okay? Now we'll come back to the additional step five in a second, because that's that just turns it into the fetch execute cycle. So the right operation, <clears throat> I remember it's like a double barrel shotgun, you've got your both 
Uh, barrel's set up before you pull the trigger, so what else needs set up? See you sets up the M here. Yes, see you sets up the M, D, R. Now what does it set it up with? The data needs to be written. Yeah, the data needs to be written. Excellent, I drew out another question. What are some of the different things that could be stored in a register? An address. Address, data, or... What are what's the computer executing all day, every day, millions of instructions? Right? So it could be an address to access, it could be uh, data to be written, or it could be instructions. It could be uh, values from calculations as well. Okay, so we've got everything set up with the right operation. Activate the right line. Good. Activate the right line. Activate the right line. Great, so everything's ready to go. How does it get there? It's transferred along the Yeah, so data. Yep. Transferred via the what? Data bus. Yeah, to memory, to main memory. Okay, so a few things we could do with expanding on there. Okay, so we've both got four steps right in that way. Don't get um, um, mixed up with the exam. They may condense them and just say about it. Copied out of data bus, transferred to MDR. I and mean, you could summarise that in one sentence. The same with that one, you could summarise it in one sentence as well. Or well just depending on how they write it. Just make sure you get it across those kind of four individual parts. What is... The extra step though, if it's fetch, execute. Code execute. What's that, buddy? Code or execute. Yeah, because obviously this is the fetch part of it, and this is the execute part of it, but you're right. If it's an instruction, it needs to be decoded, and then it needs to be executed. And that basically continues until there are no more instructions for it to decode and execute. Um, Another part they might drag in here are like, how could you compare the performance of the computer systems? What are some of the measures we could look at? MIPS, MIPS flops, uh, application-based application -based tests, and clock, clock speed. All right, so then they can drag that in there and talk about the comparison because this is kind of linked to the processor. We've talked to the control unit. What other parts of the processor are going to be used in the kind of fetch, execute, read, write cycle? Clock, obviously, yet to synchronise everything, definitely. But more specifically, the parts of the processor they're going to be asking us about. ALU. ALU, which is <coughs> good. So that carries out all the calculations, makes logical, logical comparisons, and registers which we kind of covered the temporary storage location so we talked specifically about two types <laughs> all right so they might drag all of those types of questions in there that's quite important uh depending on the section it's in see that in for four marks where they get you to write down all the steps and then it's also been in part one where you fill in two blank ones for two marks